Hey, what's going on? Trouble here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Rolling Hills map once again. And if you guys want to go check out my channel, check out some tournament videos, some more series on here, maybe some sneak peeks, because I do post at 5, so it's 2 hours before this video goes out, so it's kind of like the next episode before this one comes out. So if you do want to go ahead and check out my channel, it's in the card above. It should have popped out up here, or if not, it's in the description below. So we... Today, we cut this barley. I don't remember if it was on Squad Farms channel or if it was on mine. I think it was on mine. So, I don't know for sure. Um, yeah, we did lay out straw, so we're going to bail that up today. We're going to get the combine fired up and the truck. We did buy a new semi. Got the old International Eagle with the Wilson Grain trailer. We'll fire it up. It's this Cat C15. Not sure what that stands for. Cat motor, I'm guessing. Um all that anyway we're gonna try and see if we can crash it today because that's what I tend to do we have this little deal here we are going to pull out of the driveway kinda mess that one up we're actually gonna back up so I'm allowed to drive through this neighbor's farm not really but I kinda wanna drive through it just cause there's cool paths through there and I like to make corners with semis like this cause it's fun I like to mess around a lot with semis. I don't know why. It's just something strange. I like to drive semis in tight areas. Things like that. But right now, I'm not really paying attention much. So this is barley, so we can sell the barley. We need to get a bin set up. We need to buy a bin. Probably over on my channel. Something like that. Um, all that. We're going to take this into the elevator. We're going to get it sold. We do have the corn and soybeans growing. But we're going to finish barley. We're going to get the baler pulled out. We're going to get everything rocking and rolling. A little short 10 minute video once again. In the summertime, probably make a little longer videos. Probably stream a lot if I can. Going to be busy with um, haying this summer like I was last summer. Probably make some real life farming videos. If you guys really want to see that, let me know. I can do that. Also some spread and fertilizer videos here coming in February. We have two truck, or three semi loads of dry coming to run through the spreader but the only downside is I'm at school so it won't be every day and by the time I by the time I get out of school it'll be the ground will be thawed and you won't be able to go run the spreader so therefore I probably won't run it till Saturday if we have dry or any of that we got 14,000 off that so we made a little money we started at, what 10,000 so good amount the combine is full so we're gonna go ahead take this back to the field real quick pull it in that driveway again actually we could have went that way but we'll go get the combine unloaded get it fired up get it rocking and rolling so this semi is kind of a fast semi I just floored it from the elevator and got it up to 60 in like no time we did run over the street sign I am a little bit of a crazy driver not gonna lie but usually when I'm usually I'm lagging so I blame it on the lag sometimes but sometimes it is hard. We're not going to knock over this guy's mailbox, though. Got close, but I, I actually I don't think you can actually knock it over. I don't know if you can or not. But yeah, he's got like an old bin there. He's got a little pathway back here. This is what I'd like to do. Kind of like the road to our farm. Just kind of make a path like this. We're actually going to keep taking it. So like you'd go down here. This is the field we're actually going to buy soon. This field down here. I believe it's 18 number. It's a really rough road. But it's got like a cool path. I wish there was more of these like cool paths between the roads between the fields and stuff because they are like really neat I like to see them probably one of my favorite things on maps are like these cool little roads that are like that I don't know why but I just like them I don't know if you guys do or not let me know in the comments below if you do and yeah so we're gonna jump in the STS 9670 put the auger out fire it up lift up the header so we are doing straw swaths. We are going to get it bailed up. We're going to let this combine unload. It does take a little while. And then we'll drive the combine up up the field and over. Start harvesting. So we went ahead and got in the combine. This one's kind of a slow one. It only goes 19. Probably should have drove the truck up here today since we got that picked out. Or cut out, I should say. Harvested out. Just to be safe. Because some of you guys like to... Well, I mean, I know we're not picking the barley. We're cutting it. My turn for cutting the barley and harvesting so all that 
We'll go ahead and hire this worker out, let him run, and get the field cut. We're going to tab in the, where is it at? Should we run the T5? No, we're going to run the 7210. We haven't run the baler on it in a while. We haven't had it on here. We've had it on the other tractor, but it's got duels on it, and I don't want to switch the duels. I mean, you can still bail with duels, but I kind of want to run the case today. Since we haven't run it in a while, I mean, we have run it a lot, but just not on the baler very often. We did in the beginning, but not on the... Normally, we run it on the 46. So we do have sheep. We got them going. I don't know. I think they're probably good. Hasn't been 10 days yet, so looks like they need some clean cleanness. We might take the loader or the telehandler and scoop up their uh, grass and their trough and then dump it back in. We're actually going to take this to the field, and we'll probably start bailing. We'll drive across the road. It really ain't that far. I kind of like having the fields close because then you can just drive there with the tractor. You don't have to haul anything, which is nice. Okay, so we're going to pull in the driveway. Now... I'll probably start over here somewhere. I did do the headland passes, just blew them out on the field since they're kind of tricky to bail because I ran them myself. I like to run hired workers when I'm doing this or like course play. GPS, since there's no GPS, that's why. If there was GPS, I probably would. But straw actually adds up pretty fast. These are some pretty big windrows, as you can see it rubbing against the tractor. Bottom of the tractor. We already got a bale right there. Now I didn't realize it stuck out the side. That looks like a bigger bale. Hmm. Do we have, I'm curious to see, this John Deere baler, I don't know if I have it in here or not. I do. So this 568 does 8,000 bales. It's 10,000 bucks. Um, it actually produces a bigger bale. And I wonder if it glitched out the deal so that all the bales are bigger I'm actually curious I'm gonna go look I'm gonna go jump in the t5 here fire it up and we're gonna put the loader on we're gonna haul one of these straw bales out there and see if there's a difference we'll put the loader on we'll hook up the bale spear we'll open up the door and we could start mowing I think I'm gonna hay in my video if you guys want to see that I'll start haying and actually I'll probably finish up harvest and then I'll hay and then I'll do a lot I know you guys want me to do longer videos but sometimes it's hard to do longer videos just because school homework uh, all the other stuff like the tournament now so I'm playing on there I'm working pretty good on there and all that so actually I forgot to get the straw bale I think we'll just bale two straw bales and then haul them home with the tractor or one of them because I don't think I can carry two two of the bigger ones they might be heavier not sure all right so the combine's actually kind of full we are going to oh i think he might be able to make it both ways we're actually going to dehire him and i'll run him just to the end there till he gets full and then switch the straw swath so that we don't have this like little bitty straw windrow i'd say and we'll probably do it pretty soon in fact i'll probably do it like right now and then hire them out, and then that way I can get in the semi, fire up the semi, drive it across. And I'm pretty sure those are bigger bales. Which is what I kind of want. Uh, so that they'll actually fit in my trailer. Because that trailer that I got, that Pride of the Prairie trailer, it actually is meant for the bigger bales. So you can actually fit them in. Rather than these smaller ones, they don't tend to fit in very well. Um, not sure if we have crop destruction on. I don't think we do, so I'm just going to grab over it. Okay, we got that. There's a T5. There we go. We'll go pick up one of these bales, and I think I'll take it home. We might actually load it in this. I don't know yet. We'll see. So should we get the John Deere baler, or should we get... Oh yeah, that's definitely bigger. Is it heavier? Can I still lift two of them, I wonder? Yeah, now we're actually going to have to get a bigger bale spear for the telehandler. I think what I'll do is instead of getting a different one, I'll just make this uh, bale spike a little bigger. Maybe not. I think it's pretty good sized. But what I'll probably do is make this, make this a little wider and make the attachment, the customization attachment, 
how you can do skid steer, front loader, wheel loader, all that. I'll put a telehandler attachment on there so I can put it on my telehandler. So we're going to bail another bale quick. We'll probably go move the semi out of the way for the combine when he gets done unloading. Yeah, that's definitely bigger bale. I don't know what's messed up with that. If they, if all the bales are just bigger now or what? It's strange. So before we bail this next bale, I'm actually going to shut that off. And we'll spear that and take it home. I know they're bigger. We'll see. I don't know. That's, that's odd. I'll probably um, test it out test out the like take out the John Deere out of the save game and see if these bales still are here and if they're not then I'll probably just take the John Deere baler out unless you guys want bigger bales let me know uh, I can still run these bigger ones but I don't want to accidentally take out that John Deere baler and have it yeah I can't even lift these so they are a little heavier in fact, I might stack them all. I might actually stack them all, like, right there. Yeah, I know these are bigger, so. We'll do that. We'll jump in the semi. Oh, boy. I guess we'll have to hook onto the semi. And we'll drag it out of the way quick. Ooh, it didn't flip over. Now can we get it flipped? We'll tip it over like that. And then we can drive it out of the way. So, anyway, the combine should finish the field. We're going to start harvesting the oats in my video if you guys want to go down to the description and check out my channel. Post basically the same content. It's pretty much the same. I don't really tend, I don't usually make it any different. So, yeah. So, if you want to go see some more of my footage, videos, and all that, go in the description, click that. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button and let me know how good I did in this video in the description or in the comments I should say and we will see you all in the next one